Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about what kind of safety equipment should not only the beginner mechanic have, but every single mechanic. I've noticed that a lot of uh, creators like me on YouTube talk about tools, cars, issues, the work itself, but not a lot of people actually make a video about safety equipment. So I figured why not make a video about what kind of safety equipment a full-time mechanic uses every day or at least should use every day. And uh, I'll show you that it's really not that much and it's not crazy expensive. And uh, let's just get into the video and I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing every mechanic should use is just regular normal latex gloves. Our shop uses Microflex diamond grip. This is size large. You can get it in small, medium, large, and extra large. And the reason why you want to have latex gloves is because uh, unfortunately our job is very dirty. There's grease, there's oil, there's uh, dirt coolant and all that stuff so you, we do our job with our hands so we want to protect our hands as much as we can from foreign materials that are not only um, dirty but they're also toxic like engine oil and coolant you, you don't want that on your skin so these gloves will prevent uh, those toxic materials from actually touching your skin. Uh, also, you want to wear gloves in a customer's car just because you don't know where that car's been at, you don't know what the condition of the car is, maybe it's full of germs and stuff. So this is a first barrier of defense when you're working on a customer's car is it, it is a simple latex glove. Now, the reason why you want latex gloves rather than uh, nitrile gloves is because latex is more flexible and it doesn't rip that much. Um, the downside of it is if you ever have to work with like gasoline or uh, brake clean, which is acetone, it will actually dissolve the latex glove. So then you have to have the nitrile glove. So these are nitrile gloves made by Falcon Grip. As you can see, they're not as elastic as the Microflex Diamond Grip gloves that are made out of latex. But the difference here is that they are chemical resistant. So if you have working on gasoline and you put your hands in gas or you have brake clean that sprays on it, this will actually not dissolve the glove so that protects your hands. The downside of it is they're not as flexible so they have a tendency to rip much easier. So I use these gloves on pretty much every single job but if I had to put my hands in gas or some chemical that is going to dissolve the latex gloves I use a nitrile based um, glove. So the second safety item that I use every day are these safety glasses. Just as in the name of the item, safety glasses are there to prevent foreign objects hitting your eyes. And in our type of work, foreign objects like shrapnel, metal, dirt, rust, fluids will always hit you in the eyes. And uh, this is the first line of defense of preventing any of that hitting your eyes. Uh, these are just generic plastic uh, safety glasses. Safety glasses can range from $5 to like up to, I've seen up to $30. Uh, the big difference between the price and the glasses are that uh, the more expensive the glasses, they usually are uh, softer to your nose right around here and the overall quality is just a little bit better sturdier the um, ears don't break off as easy and I also noticed that the more expensive ones uh, prevent uh, fog happening on your eyes when let's say the glasses are cold and your face is hot they will fog up so the more expensive ones prevents uh, from doing that so just this amount of protection already protects my whole eyeball on both sides. So when I'm, I usually use them when I'm cutting metal or I have a very rusty car and I'm working up and I just don't want rust hitting my eye. And uh, it only takes a split second to put them on, but the value of protection is so high. And I know again, a lot of mechanics don't wear safety glasses. I don't wear safety glasses every single minute, but when I'm cutting something or there's potential of fluids or debris hitting my eyes, I always put on my safety glasses because it only takes you once to hit something in your eye and now you're blind in one eye or you can't see in one eye as much as the other eye. Now, all sorts of stuff. So safety glasses take only a second to put on 
it's the first layer of defense for your eyes and you always want to protect your eyes because how are you going to do your job if you can't see what you're doing so this is the previously showed pair that it's a little bit cheaper and this is the more expensive safety glasses made by milwaukee as you can see there's a rubber where your nose will be um, they don't fog as often as these. These were given for free from a vendor. The, these ones I bought personally from Home Depot. I believe I paid $20. And again, safety glasses, like every mechanic should have them and they should use them to prevent damage to their eyes. So safety glasses work really well, but sometimes if I'm cutting something really big or there's just a lot of shrapnel flying off or there's a lot of rust, sometimes I will actually put on this face mask made by Lincoln Electric. I believe I bought this at Harbor Freight. Again, it was like oh, maybe $25, maybe $30. And when I put it on, it not only uh, protects my eyes, but it also protects my nose and my face. I don't use it as much as my safety glasses because usually I just don't have something that big, but I will show you how well it works to protect your face when let's say you're cutting something and you have the face shield on. So now while wearing my own safety glasses, I will show you with a cutoff wheel how much uh, flying metal can actually hit your face when you're cutting something in slow motion. So now you just saw how much metal particles hit the face shield when you're cutting something. Obviously I was trying to demonstrate it in a certain angle, but trust me, whenever you need to cut something off, that's when all the stuff is hitting your face. Of course you can regulate the cut off wheel to prevent most of the particles coming into your face, but that still is not 100% guarantee. So that's where this comes into play and protects not only your eyes, but your nose, your mouth. You know, sometimes when you're cutting something off, it might hit your face. I've, I've actually had uh, certain uh, metal parts hit my face and cut it. Not deep, but just enough to make it bleed. So a face shield is like level two defense against foreign objects. So if the um, safety glasses is not, are not enough, you put on this, uh, the face mask. So now that we protected our face and our eyes, it's time to protect our ears. These are earmuffs made by Western Safety. I bought them at Harbor Freight. They were maybe, maybe $10, maybe less. The reason why I like these or this style of earmuff is because it actually covers the whole ear. I know some people put plugs in their ears, but I prefer to cover the whole ear. Um, I mostly use this when I'm using either an air hammer, if I'm smashing something with a hammer, or anything that causes high vibration and high frequency sound going into my ear to prevent damage on my ears. A mechanic can work properly if he can hear what the issue is. So if there's a suspension noise and you can't hear the suspension noise, how are you gonna fix the suspension noise? So protecting your eyes is very important, but also protecting your ears is also very important because you not only want to do your job, so you need to hear and see, but just for your everyday activities, you know, like I don't think anybody wants to be blind or deaf. So these are very cheap uh, ways to protect your eyes and your ears, and that is safety glasses, face shield, and earmuffs. So now that we protected our face, our eyes, our ears, and our hands, it's time to protect our feet. So these are steel-toed boots that I use at work every day. They are made by Red Wing. Uh, all the safety shoes I ever had were made by Red Wing. I really like them. And I will show you what is so special about these boots. So this is my safety boot made by Red Wing. I don't know if you can see the logo. So what's so special about these boots? Well, first of all, they are waterproof. Many times you will have to go outside to get a customer's car when it's raining, and it's really nice when they're waterproof, and they actually are waterproof. You can step in a puddle and water will not go through. Also, all the oil, coolant, and other chemicals that hit the boot, I have never had them actually go through the boot. Now, the original color of the shoe was this, but from all the oil and the coolant, it changes the color, but I never had any fluid actually hit my, hit my um, foot. 
So also what's special about these boots is the pattern that is on it. This is a non-slip pattern, meaning that if there's oil cooling or water on the floor, this pattern will actually prevent you from skidding and slipping on the shop, which is very important because you do not want to drop on your ass with you know, oil or ha handling the car or having the customer's tire in your hand or anything. And just in general, you do not want to fall down. So having this pattern preventing you from slipping is a safety thing. And then also, every single uh, mechanic's boot has to have a steel toe in the front. So right here is the steel. I cannot move it with my finger. And the reason why you want a steel toe in the front is because whenever something falls, it is very rare that it hits anywhere else than the front of your toes. And the metal being in the front will prevent any object hitting you directly on your uh, toes. So the metal will actually absorb the hit and prevent damage to your toes. So that is why these are safety boots because they prevent damage to your toes and your feet. And I will show you in slow motion, I will drop a hammer on a normal sneaker and I will sh drop a hammer on these safety boots and you will see the difference of what happens when a hammer hits a safety boot and a sneaker. For this experiment, we'll be using a four pound Cornwell metal hammer, a Nike run shoe, and the Red Wing steel toe boot. So as you can see in the video, when the hammer drops on the sneaker, it bounces right off. It, if your toes were in that sneaker, it, they would be at either broken or at least you know hurt. So when you put the steel toe boots on and the hammer drops on it, that hammer actually bounces off the boot and the boot barely even moves. So that just shows you how protected your toes are when something like a hammer or a rotor or you know a wheel, whatever is falling, will protect your toes from getting crushed inside. And uh, I mean, I've seen people work with sandals in some videos and like, I'm always, dude, what if something falls on your feet or like, you know, a blade flies off or anything and you like, it only takes a split second to get hurt really bad. So a steel toe boot is definitely something you should always consider having to protect your feet. The only minus about a quality steel toe boot is the price. Unfortunately, uh, these Red Wings cost me around $230, but I wear them Monday to Friday at least nine hours a day. I've never slipped with these shoes. I had multiple things hit my toes, never had a problem, never got hurt. As you can see from the color, there's oil, cooling, all sorts of fluids hitting the boot all the time. My feet always stay dry. So this is something you definitely should buy and have in your arsenal. Now I'm not saying that Red is necessarily the company you should choose. There are many companies you can choose. I just choose Redwind because I really like the quality of them. You can get different inserts if you have, let's say, flat feet. And um, they last me around a year working with them, uh, you know, nine hours a day, five times a week. So I recommend Red Wings. If you guys wanna try a different boot, that's fine, but you should definitely have a steel toe boot to protect your feet. So this is the safety equipment stuff I use every day at my job. Uh, obviously the boots are always on my feet, gloves are always on my hands, you know, the glasses, the muffs, and the face shield I wear whenever I need to. But safety is very important, guys. I know uh, not a lot of you know, people talk about it, but it only takes a split second to do a mistake and get hurt really bad, sometimes to the point where you can't do your job anymore at all. So. Like I showed you, safety glasses, $5 to $30, you know, muffs, $15. You can buy them at Harbor Freight. You can buy them at Home Depot. You can buy them on the tool truck. You can order them on Amazon. It really doesn't matter as long as you have them because only, like I said, it only takes a split second to get really hurt or even get hurt enough where it impacts how fast you can work. And you never want to do that. Obviously, you want to work at 100% all the time. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked it, please put a hand thumbs up, uh, 
consider subscribing, share it with your friends, and I hope you all have a good day and stay safe at work, guys.